Scrapbookers, this is Megan, and I am back today with 30 Days of Sketches. So this is day 30, and this is a sketch by my dear friend Christy, who is the organizer of 30 Days of Sketches. She is also known as um, Christy's Beautiful Life. So here you can see I am moving my desk around a little bit. For this layout, I decided to pull out my January cherry box that I bought from a cherry on top. And I had so much fun with this layout. So the January cherry box came with a bunch of fun goodies. This paper from Prima, this Sizzix glaze, and then also a whole stack of glitter. It has a bunch of different, um, not glitter, sorry, sequins. So like sequin shapes and um, I think there were like stars and a bunch of other shapes too. So here you can see I am just spreading around this glaze. And my idea was that I was going to spread around the glaze and then pour the sequins onto it. And the sequins had opened in the little plastic packaging. And so you can see here, I'm trying to pull out all the sequins that have fallen out so that I could kind of clean them up. So that's why I'm like tapping the, the plastic packaging and then also like trying to get them all off of my hand and everything. So um, I really love how this turned out. You can kind of see the glitter from the glaze a lot better in person, but it's still a little bit hard. You have to kind of turn it at the right angle. So I think these are hearts that I'm using here. So I think I use hearts and stars. Of course, I don't have the layout here in front of me because why would I have that? <laughs> And I made this layout way back in January too. And so it's been quite a while since I, I did this layout. So if I can't remember what I'm doing, I apologize. But I really, really loved this cherry box kit. It was so fun to play with and it's so worth the money. I think this kit cost $35. It might've been 40 with shipping. I don't quite remember. Cause again, I bought it way back in January and, um, but you get a lot of fun goodies and it's a mixed variety every month. It's not always going to be a paper pad and, you know, mixed media. It's, it's very different every month. So I will try to remember to leave a link below to the cherry box subscription and, um, yeah, they are awesome. I really love a cherry on top. I've always bought my scrapbooking supplies from them, um, and I remember the first order I placed with them was, oh goodness, I think I bought the full Chamel collection when it first came out, like when it was on pre-order. And I think that was the first order that I ever placed with a cherry on top. So that was a long time ago. Gosh, what? I don't even remember. 10 years ago, was it? Maybe not that long. It feels like it was that long ago. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean up real quick. So I will come back and start making the layout once it's all dry. Okay, now I am going to start cutting the photos. This is going to take a little while. So my idea with this was to use these two photos as the main photos. And then there are a bunch of squares around the layout. And I was going to use these other... I think three or four photos as those squares of like, I think they're supposed to be pattern paper or something like that. So I'm just cutting these down to the right size and it's going to take a little bit for me to find the right size. I think one of them I actually cut in half and then I stack it on top of each other like the other one. And it's kind of a, a long process. Now my background is dry and so I am going to 
mat these two photos and then I'm going to glue them down on top of the background and start um, placing the other photos on to the layout in the different areas that the square pattern papers are called for and then I'm going to embellish and the embellishing on this layout I keep I think I keep it to a little amount so here you can see that I this is where I cut the photo into two and put it at the top so now here I am going to start doing the embellishing I really loved this collection this is the oh goodness I think this is the Echo Park the most recent Echo Park collection from the winter time. So I'm just using the sticker sheet, which did come in my uh, cherry box for the month of January. And I also got the ephemera and then you can see the um, brads and enamel dots to the left of the layout there. I did decide to pop up um, the photos on fun foam so that I really love how that looks. And then I think that is going to be it for this layout. Um, I do add a little bit more stickers and embellishments um, next to the photo and then the title I'm actually going to put on to that photo that's on the left so that it kind of covers up the neighbor's house that's across the street so here I am adding the title and it's just going to be ice castle this alpha I'm not sure who it came from but it was also in my January cherry box so if you haven't checked out the cherry box I would definitely suggest to do so because it is super cheap and you get a lot of product for that price. So it's a really awesome deal. And I'm just going to finish up with the embellishing and the title. Thank you so much for watching today and make sure that you check out all the links below of the other ladies that are going to be participating with me today on this amazing sketch by our dear friend Christy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.